Hi friends, my name is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you're all here. If you're new here and you're over 50 like me and you're interested in subscription unboxing and try-ons, I hope you'll subscribe while you're here. I put out those kind of videos and all kinds of other fun ones as well that I hope you'll check out. In today's video, we have my third trunk club. The last couple of ones, I have been able to find at least one item that I really loved out of each trunk. This time I did look at the preview and I rejected three items. There was a turtleneck sweater that is just not happening with hot flashes at this point in my life. There was also a cardigan sweat sweater that I rejected because there was slits way up the side and I found that I really don't like the cardigans with the slits up the side. So I rejected that as well. And then there was also a Madewell V-neck white t-shirt that I've got a few of those already and I don't need any more. So I rejected the little t-shirt as well. This time I did request a pair of Kenneth Cole boots. I'm really looking for a classic pair of knee-high leather black boots with you know about a two inch heel, not many embellishments, just a real classic style because I think if I invest in a pair like that, I can wear them with skirts and dresses and also with pants, but a classic style I think would last me for many years. So that is what I am looking for. And unfortunately they did not have the Kenneth Cole boots that I wanted in the trunk club stock. So they did send me another pair that I will obviously show you, but it's I can tell that it's, it's not exactly what I'm looking for. So I've taken all the items out of these bags and I'll go ahead and we're gonna quickly run through and I'll show you what they sent and then we'll go ahead and I will try on all the items. All right, first up we're gonna start off with the boots that they did send me. These are the Louise at Sea Tilly boot, size 10 in black and they're $229. And these are the boots. And the thing that I was a little surprised about when I opened these is that this portion right here is leather, but these, this part up here that comes up over your calf is not leather. So, for $229, I really want the, the entire thing to be leather or you know the majority of it to be leather. And also the heel is just a little like more casual than the boot that I am looking for. So I will try these on. And one thing I'm concerned about, the it does say that these are narrow calf width. Um, I don't believe I have a narrow calf. I think I have just a regular calf. I know I've tried wide calf on and they're, they're way too big on my calves, but I will have to see if these actually fit and what I think of them. But right now, those are my initial thoughts is that I was surprised that they weren't leather the whole way up. Next item they sent me is called the Camo Crew Neck Sweater in gray for $52. And here it is. And I have to tell you, taking this out of the box, the package, this feels very cheap. I looked at what it is made of and it is like 98% nylon and I think 2% metallic is what it said. But the, this nylon sweaters, in my opinion, they do not hold up. You wash them a few times and you get all kinds of pills and they just, they look horrible. And this just does not have a good feel. I'm frankly surprised that Nordstrom sells a sweater like this because in my opinion, just opening it up and just feeling it, it feels really cheap. But we will go ahead and try it on and see what I think. But you know, for $52, I, I'm not super impressed with this one right off the bat. Okay, the next thing they sent me were these jeans that are a pull-on style. There is no zipper or fly. You know, they do have the pockets, none in front. And I did see on the preview that they were bell bottoms. But frankly, when I opened these, I didn't realize how big of a bell bottom that these are. These are quite wide. I do have boot cut jeans that I like. 
Um, so this was one of the things I thought, oh, you know what, I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a try. So we will try these on and we'll see how they look on and maybe I will be surprised that I like the bell bottoms. This next sweater is from L.L. Bean. It's a cotton yoke sweater and it is $69.95. And this, I have to say, is so pretty. I think the coloring is very pretty. I like the yoke. It's a nice cotton sweater. It's got a good feel. It's, it's like not tunic length, but a little bit longer. And I think I'll be able to get away with a neck like this because it's not gonna be really close. So I think this sweater is really pretty. I'm excited to try this one on. The next item we've got are some leggings, and these are the Live-In High Waist Leggings from Zella, black, size large, uh, $59. So these are just your basic black legging. Um, they do have the high waist, and they've got kind of that band, which I know I like because it does kind of smooth over your tummy. Um, the only thing I can say is the fabric is, um, one that I think really attracts lint and dog hair, which could be a problem for me. So, but we will go ahead and try these on. The next item we have is an everyday long sleeve crew neck rib t-shirt from Nordstrom, black, $39 size large. So just a basic black layering long sleeve tee, nothing too you know special or different about this. So we'll go ahead and try that. This next item is called a draped neck sweatshirt from Caslon in pink, size large, $45. First of all, I would not call this pink at all. It is definitely more of a lavender, purple-based color, can you see? But I thought this was kind of interesting. It is a sweatshirt that just kind of got a little different style to it just to elevate a comfy sweatshirt. So we will go ahead and try this and see how this turns out. The next item are baby bootcut corduroy jeans from Cut From The Cloth, and they call this color burgundy, size 10 for $69.50. Well, to me, this is not burgundy at all. This is like a brown, definitely a brown color. I don't, I don't see burgundy. I hope the camera is picking it up. But um, cute corduroys, these are just the bootcut. So we will go ahead and we will try those on. The next item, these are the Kate Ankle Skinny Jeans, Rag and Bone, they're just called blue, size 31, which, she, which they told me in my preview that a 31 from Rag and Bone is actually a size 10. It's not a size 12 like other jeans. And I have to tell you, these jeans are $225. I obviously saw the price in my preview and I didn't reject them because I frankly wanted to try on a pair of jeans that are $225 to see if they are much better than jeans that are, you know, $80 like what I usually spend. So, I mean, if these fit perfectly and make me look incredible, you know, I would actually think about them but they really have to be something special for $225. But we will go ahead and we will try these rag and bone jeans on. And then the last item is a really pretty necklace. It's just called the Marquee Pendant Necklace from Nordstrom and it is $29. And this I have to say is just a sweet little necklace. I hope, get it closer you can see. It's just the little Marquee Cubic Zirconia and the chain, you can adjust it to three different sizes, but super adorable. I really like this, so this could definitely be something that I would want to keep. All right, so I will be back in just a moment with the first outfit, and we will get started with the try-on. Okay, friends, so I have on the camo crew neck sweater from Bobu, gray, size large, $52. These are the Kate Ankle Skinny Jeans from Rag and Bone that are size 31 for $225. And these are the Tilly Boots size 10, which are $229. So why don't we start and we'll work our way up here. First of all, the boots, um, they do fit my calf fine, it seems like. 
but I, even if I absolutely loved them, they hurt right on the in par, inner part of my ankle. It is rubbing so on both of these that I would be so uncomfortable and I, I'm to the point where I don't like breaking in shoes. I want them to be comfortable right off the bat. So the boots are not gonna happen. They aren't exactly what I was looking for anyway. So these boots will be going back. What I'm gonna do now is take these off because I wanna show you the length of these jeans as well. So I will be right back. All right, so once again, these jeans are the Kate Ankle Skinny Jeans from Rag and Bone. They are size 31, calling a color blue for $225. And you can see from the length of these, too short. They are supposed to be ankle length and they are above my ankle. It's a tall girl problem. It is so hard to find jeans that are uh, you know, long enough a lot of the time. But as far as the fit of these, do these knock me away with the fit for being, you know, for being $225? I'm really not impressed. I think they're okay. They are, you know, mid-rise, like I like. So these jeans, you know, okay, but 200, do I think they're worth $225? Absolutely not. They're just really nothing special. They're a skinny jean, like I said, mid-rise you know, dark wash, but other than that, really not terribly impressed with the jeans. Get a little closer for the sweater. This is that um, acrylic one when I took it out of the box that I said fell cheap. It does not feel any better on. I'm not terribly fond of the coloring. Maybe if the fabric was better, I might like it better, but this is just not all that impressive, this sweater. So, both the jeans and the sweater will be going back. Okay, I did want to show you the necklace because I realized with the unboxing that I did not have it close enough. But this is just so sweet and darling. I love this necklace. I hope you can see just how pretty. It's just a little tiny marquee cubic zirconia, just really thin chain, but I really like this and I think I'm gonna keep this, this necklace. I really think it's pretty. Okay friends, I have the next outfit on. So these are the gummy pull on flare leg jeans from Free People, size 30 in blue for $78. And our flare jeans having a moment again. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready to embrace that trend again. I think that these could be really cute on some people, but I just don't know if I'm ready to embrace this whole flare leg again. I think boot cut I'm comfortable with, but I'm not ready to quite make the leap to the flare leg. And But these are there are some features about these jeans that I think are kind of cute. I'll get a little closer. They are the pull-on waist. So there's no fly, but I think the way that these are designed, they do kind of like, you know, slim over your tummy, which I think is a nice thing. And they still do have the pockets in the back, but I think it's kind of a neat, just, you know, a pull on jean style. So that part I like, I do like the color. They have some good stretch. And I think this part up here, I mean, with longer sweaters and things, I think they could be kind of cute, but it's just, just not ready, I think, to deal with the, um, the flare part of these is what I'm just not embracing. But otherwise, I think, you know, they're kind of cute. Now, the top is that Nordstrom Basic Everyday Black Long Sleeve Tee, and how much was this one? Okay. And this is $39, which, you know, $39, I think, for just what it is, is you know, kind of pricey. I think you can go to Target and I think you could probably get these for, you know, under $20 probably for the, the same type of thing. I think it's okay. It's, it, if it's got a nice feel, I think it's a good quality, but I think I'm going to pass on this. I don't really need a black long sleeve crew. So this, this will be going back along with these jeans. But I think, and I'll try once again, I think you can get a closer look of this pretty necklace that I, I'm definitely keeping this. I just think it's so pretty. Okay, so now on to the next outfit. Okay, 
I've got the next outfit on. These are the live-in high waist leggings from Zella, size large, black for $29. Is that right? Oh no, $59, sorry. And this is the drape neck sweatshirt from Caslon, size large. They're calling it pink. It's definitely a lavender or purple. And this is $45. And we'll go ahead and we'll start with the leggings. I think these are really cute leggings. I think they fit well. They're definitely long enough if you're tall like me. They've got a lot of stretch, so they go all the way down to your ankle, so they fit really well. They are the high rise. They've got that nice band that kind of slims over your tummy. Really, I mean, a cute pair of leggings. My only issue with these is that this fabric, um, it seems to be one that really attracts lint, really attracts dog hair, which I, my dog, Louie, you've seen him probably in a couple of videos. He is that light, you know, golden yellow lab. He's a, he's a mop, but he's got that coloring. and. His fur would be all over these if I kept these leggings. So that is my only complaint. Other than that, I think if you're looking for, you know, really comfortable, really nice fitting, and I think $60 for a pair of leggings, I don't think is a terrible price. So if you were in the market for some leggings, these are some good ones and I do like them. All right, now on to the sweatshirt. I liked the idea of this better, but then actually trying it on, there's something about the fit that's bothering me. It it does kind of come low, you know, over my shoulders. And it doesn't drape as much as I thought it was going to. I think the color's pretty. Like I said, it's definitely not a pink, it's a lavender. But other than that, I'm just not in love with it. So kind of a cute concept to, you know, elevate sweatshirts a little bit, but this one's just not for me. Okay, friends, I've got the next outfit on. And once again, these are the baby boot cut corduroy jeans from Cut From The Cloth, size 10. They are calling it burgundy. It's not burgundy, it's a rusty brown. And these are $69.50. The sweater is from L.L. Bean Cotton Yoke Sweater, size large, beige, for $69.95. Let's start with the corduroys. I hope you can see the length. They are, I think, okay, like right now, but boot cuts need to be longer, and I'm concerned that washing these and not even putting them in the dryer, they might shrink up and the length would be too short on me. So I hope you can see the length. But they are cute, they are comfortable. I do like the way they fit. Get a little closer. They are the mid-rise. They have a little bit of stretch, um, very comfortable. And like I said, the fit I like, it's just I'm concerned about the length after a washing with these. All right, now on to this sweater. I think this is really cute. It is 100% cotton and it's thick, but I feel like it's got a good, a, a good cozy feel. I think this part is pretty up here as well. The length, I don't know, it's, it is kind of long and I'll have to look back at the footage to see how I liked this length on me. Um, you know, sometimes tunic sweaters can, you know, just add bulk, especially when it's like a thicker sweater like this. So I will have to see how I like this on when I rewatch the footage. But other than that, I think it's a cute little sweater. And you know, this is kind of like a maybe until I see the footage and, and see if I really like it or not. Okay friends, I am back and I had a chance to look at the footage. You think you know what your clothes look like after you look in the mirror, but watch footage of yourself and you will see things in an entirely different light. It's crazy how something I thought I could I liked and then I look at the footage and I realize, oh my gosh, that was unflattering or it's just it's very interesting since I've started doing this. But anyways, I have to say going back over the footage, I liked how these flare jeans fit. 
I just wish that they were maybe a boot cut. So I'm going to see if they do happen to have Here, Lou. Louie wanted to come in. I will have to see if possibly if they have a boot cut in this like pull-on style because I really did like it. I was surprised. So I will look into a different leg opening for these free people jeans. And then I had been thinking about this sweater and then when I watched the footage, I realized I really didn't care for it on me. I don't know if it was something with the coloring and the fit. I just, I really wasn't in love with it after watching the footage. The one thing for sure I am getting is this sweet little necklace. I think it's so pretty. It sparks joy for me. So I am definitely getting that. But overall, I, I'm not disappointed with this trunk. I think there was, it wasn't like things were you know, terribly out of my, you know, comfort range and terribly different styles than I would normally wear. There was just certain little, you know, fit issues or just little things that just made them not right. But I think overall, I think the stylist who was Matt was his name. I think he did a pretty good job, but like I said, it was just, there was just little misses here and there. Nothing that, you know, I totally hated, <laughs> which is always a good thing. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all being here and I will see you next time. Bye.